It's Music Connected 2013, and I'm here with David Emery from uh, uh, Head of Marketing at the Baggers Group. So, hi, hi David, how's it going? Um, it's going well, thank you. All right, so let's talk about your panel first. You know, did you, did you enjoy that? How, how did it go? Uh, yeah, it was really good. It was good fun. Lots of, um, a whole wide range of different questions, which, yeah. is always, which is always fun. I mean, as it was a Q&A thing, you sort of don't really know what you're going to get. Yeah. But it's, you know, it was, yeah, it was it's good. the game. But it's, it's good that it's kind of a room full of people that are actually wanting to know very specific things, which I, I guess was good f for you guys as well, on exactly how to allocate budgets, how to decide what to prioritize. So it, it made it for quite a nitty gritty conversation on specifics, which is, uh, which is nice, well, given that a lot of the time we're speaking generics. So. Well, this is the thing. I mean, I think that's why uh, Darren wanted to do the panel in the way that it, l way that it was, because, you know, it'd be very easy for him to pick a whole bunch of questions uh, or us to do a bunch of presentations yeah. and actually probably not necessarily answer the questions that people wanted answering. Yeah. So, you know, that w the way we did it means that, you know, we can, you know, okay, you want to know how to spend a thousand pounds on online uh, advertising, then we can talk about that yeah. and you'll get a range of different responses. And, and you know, that's, that's probably potentially a lot more useful for a lot of people out there yeah. than uh, like, this is what I did on this campaign, which might not be relevant to a lot of people. Yeah, and there's uh, so many things that we can talk about. Uh, on, on digital marketing side for, for an independent label. Of course, uh, you guys being like one of the largest examples of, of an independent, but uh, uh, you know, uh, one question that I've been asking today was also talking about uh, Twitter music and, and you know, finally a, a service that uh, uh, hopefully we'll think about aggregating some of the different, very separate things that are happening online. Is this something that, that you're look, looking forward to? Um, I'm intrigued. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm looking forward to it because I don't know what it is yet. And yeah, that's exactly. the thing. It's like, uh, it's difficult, I suppose, to comment on things that don't exist yet. Like, yeah, the <laughs> potential, like, there's something that you could definitely, like, you know, I see that Twitter is very important for music because a lot of where I get my music recommendations from are from people tweeting about it on Twitter. Yeah. So something that aggregates that together could be very interesting. But then the flip side is it's like, okay, you know, well, that wanting to sound like a, you know, a boring record label, it's like, how is it monetized? How do people get remunerated? All of that sort of thing. You know, I think original, um, when people were first talking about it, it was like, oh, it's going to pull in from SoundCloud. Well, you know that's not really going to work particularly yeah. well for a lot of a lot of people but you know now i'm hearing things that it's going to integrate in vivo and itunes and stuff like that it's, okay so that's interesting but yeah. well yeah it's it's just we'll kind of interesting but yeah we'll see and we'll it's see also yeah, yeah exactly exactly well and uh, on, a, on a more specific point of view i know a lot of labels and artists here that are working on a small level are probably looking to hear what are the best platforms to invest in if you for example want to run a small advertising campaign you have a budget to do that uh, so on, on your point of view what would be the best recommendation to you know if you have some money w where should you spend it um i mean i think facebook is a very good place to start because you can target it so well i mean if you're talking about if you've got a small budget then you know, the better you can target things, uh, the more you can target things, the better. Yeah. And I think that's going to be, you know, the most important thing because, you know, you don't want to be wasting your money. So Facebook, you can target things incredibly powerfully and, you know, really go like, right, okay, you're, you're people that are this age in this place that, you know, have shown an interest in this thing. You're the most likely set of people that are going to be um, going to be interested in buying this record. And so you can target in that way. Also, um, YouTube pre-rolls are very, very good because you can actually play people music and that's very very, that's obviously a very powerful thing when you're trying to sell music yeah. and like you can also be very targeted with them as well the only sort of slight um, issue as it were with YouTube pre-rolls is the creative you need to make essentially a TV advert and that can cost money and that can be um, time consuming but yeah. you do it right and it's good and it can be very powerful yeah. those are definitely the kind of the two two starting points and then you know you can go on from there into like things like Google AdWords and you know other kind of more you know there's a million one different types of ad formats personally I would avoid uh, Twitter adverts at this time because I think it's just if you're talking about if you've got a limited yeah. bu budget it's too early to say whether they're actually effective or not like if you've got you know a decent amount of budget to play with I'd definitely you know put it in the mix but yeah. you know it's still quite early days on it's that still front quite, it's still, and it's still relatively expensive yeah yeah, so yeah no yeah. exactly you can do it on a small budget and uh, finally looking at Music Connected and uh, it's one of I guess it's really the only really just purely digital event on, on a fairly big scale that happens in London mm. these days I can't think of 
another really big event that happens in London uh, on the digital front. So, so you've been I've been been coming for a few years, and mm. how have you seen it evolve uh, in uh, the last few years? Yeah, no, I've been coming a few years now, and it's it's always really encouraging to see a whole room full of people um, engaged with all of this stuff. And you know, I think we saw it on the panel. That, you know, there's they really are engaged. That you know, a lot of really good questions being asked, and yeah. I think it's it's great to see you know the independent sector being so um, in tune with all of this stuff because it is it is very important, and I think it's you know kind of you know the smaller the budgets you have the more important the digital gets you know yeah. it's it really is such a bedrock so yeah i think it's it's great and it seems to be going from strength to strength i know tickets sold out pretty quickly yeah. uh, this year round and you know it's it's a really really great event to have on the calendar great. awesome well thanks for your time and uh, it's uh, baggersgroup.com right yeah great thank you cool thank you very much